This chapter explains how to patch lighting fixture on the controller. To control the lighting on site, without patch, we can understand is the process of quickly pairing the console and the light. It's also like connecting light fixture to the controller. We can send commands to the lights on the controller's operation page. This controlling the lights to implement a variety of attributes changes. Start by clicking setup at the top left of the controller screen. Click patch in the lower left corner of the screen. You can see that you are currently on the patch page. Currently this page is empty as we still have not to add any fixtures. Click a fixture in the bottom left corner of the screen. Next we need to set the fixture type, fixture name, ID, count, address. First is fixture type, we need to choose a light library. Click on the fixture type, we can see all the light library of this controller. For example, the light library I'm using right now is 350. After selecting the light library, set the ID. The ID represents the location of the light fixture after it is patched to a controller. After the patch is completed, it can be displayed on the feature page on the red right side of the screen. Each fixture occupies one grid, number, and cannot be repeated. Let's come back to the patch page. About ID, we select the blank location below. We select one here. It means after the patch is finished, it is arranged from one onwards on the fixture page. One grid, one fixture, arranged backwards. The quantity is entered according to the actual number of fixture. For example, if I have 30 to fixtures, I will put in 32 and click OK. Then set the address code R if we set the address code of the fixture to 001. So I'm just gonna click 001 right here. The line corresponds to the port behind the controller. Which port you plug into, which line you choose. I'm standing on line 1 from address 001, patch 30 to units being light. Then I will be directly on line 001. Here, click on it. Direct click OK. It will tell you that the patch success. How many of fixture can we add on each line? Depends on how many channels I have in this light. With a light like mine, it's 16. Because each line has a maximum of 512 channels. That means 512 address codes on each line. Let's say my line has 16 channels. This means that maximum can be 30 to units fixture in this line. We come back to the address code patch. You can see the current address remains 0. It's already left at 0. Because this line is already full patch fixtures. If there are any fixtures left unpatched, we need to switch to another line. Click on the fixture. We can see the fixture just patched. If you want to check if it's a successful patch, we can select the first. Then click the locate button on your controller. If all the lights turn on, that means I got this patch right. We can also check the attributes to see if they work. Click clear to turn off the light. Then continue to patch the line tool. Select polar from the fixture type. ID must be reselected to the new blank position. Can fill in 60 for units and click OK. The address code switches to line 2. Starting with line 2 address code 001, the red boxes represent the address codes that are currently in use. Click to fix the patch and select all lights. Then press OK button on controller. If all the lights turn on, it means the light already patched well to controller. Then press clear to turn off lights. 